Hi, this is JP from Nota Lights Over Arkham. This is my new video series Chaos Magic, where I will be creating random hero decks and playing them against random villain decks. So I will be using the Marvel Champions LCG deck builder app to randomize the hero and the aspect and also randomizing the villain and the modular set I will be using and the difficulty setting uh, in which I will be playing with that app. So let's get started. So first we need to figure out which hero we are uh, playing. So uh, in the app, maybe clearly seeing that uh, we'll pick hero generator. Then we just randomize which hero we will get. And we will be playing root leadership. So that's pretty simple. I actually haven't played root leadership yet, so it will be interesting to build a deck for Groot. Then let's see uh, which villain we will get. So again, I will be randomizing this and seeing uh, which villain and modular set and which difficulty setting we are using. So <laughs> let's see what we get. So uh, we got Norman Osborn. So hostile takeover and modular set is the doomsday chair and master of time. Okay, so a pretty interesting combo there. Uh, I'll build the deck and uh, talk about the deck a bit more after I have finished building it, so I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, the deck is done and I also uh, collected all of the encounter sets for the, for the modular sets for the encounter deck. So um, one thing I forgot to mention was that we got uh, Norman Osborn phases 1 and 2, so we are playing on standard difficulty. So we have the risky business uh, scenario. And of course we have the standard modular set. Then we will add build to the deck from uh, Roots uh, set. And these uh, nemesis are in play also and uh, then we got Kang Master of Time for the Master of Time modular set so <laughs> this is actually a pretty interesting one I haven't played with this that much but the times I have the Kang has uh, royally <laughs> ruined my day so we'll see how that goes and of course one of the nastiest modular sets there is uh, Doomsday Chair so Modok and Doomsday Chair will make an appearance, so uh, it, it will be an interesting game for sure. Then let's look at Groot's uh, deck a bit closer. So we have the... I won't go into much detail of the Groot's uh, signature cards. So the idea of my deck is to... Um, I'll actually put the deck for a while on the screen so you can look at the deck list. So the idea for this deck is to uh, build your growth counters up, have a bunch of allies block for you, uh, stop any damage from getting to Groot, so Groot can build up the uh, growth counters. Then Groot's signature cards like uh, I am Groot and uh, I am Groot in a in, uh, high case will become really strong. And also, root stomps will become quite effective, and all of that good thing. So, play a bunch of allies. There are a lot of cheap allies in the deck, and also some pretty good allies, uh, with, like Nick Fury is um, like a staple ally to rotate your deck and get even more momentum going. Then. Uh, I uh, added make the calls to play 
those allies back if you need them from this card. Uh, then team training lets you use your allies more and before they get defeated or go out of play. Uh, comms implant makes your allies even more stickier and uh, also boosts the thwart, which might be a bit lacking with Groot, so you thwart better. And the rapid response, if you uh, block with an ally that you want to get back in play, you just uh, have a rapid response in play and play that back into play from your discard. So the whole deck is built around playing allies to block for Groot, so Groot can grow and be, become a powerhouse. Okay, so uh, we have the signature cards here, then of course we have one rapid response, team training to make the calls. I was debating on Yondu, but Yondu is a really good uh, attacking ally. So you can just ping uh, with it and not take any uh, damage from the activation of attacking. I really liked Adam Warlock uh, when I first got Star-Lord and tried out Adam Warlock. I really liked that ally and of course the comms implants. Um, I actually, the, the guardians have changed my deck building a bit because some staple cards I've usually used in leadership are Avenger traded so you need to have an Avenger in play to play them so I had to uh, figure out some new, new cards and that's just good for the game so you don't play all the same staple cards each time. But some, some cards uh, carry over, but I, I really like this change. And Comps Implant seems like a good add to this deck. And um, that is all of the leadership cards. Then uh, we have all so the basic cards. And uh, this deck became a, a bit basic heavy, but it is because all of the Guardian allies are basic allies. So uh, we have Helicarrier, Avengers Mansion, Fury, Spider-Man, Ironheart, Drax, Rocket Raccoon. To the power in all of us, I added them, those in a bit late because I noticed that most of my deck is uh, basics, so these are better. And I opted to leave out the power of, of leadership resource cards because, uh, first of all, I have so few cards that use it, I have like, like four cards, so no point in playing that. Uh, then of course the uh, basic double resources. The Death Focus is a really strong card in uh, Roots. I only added one copy, but still it lets you play your superpowers or cheap, so that's a really good cheapening card. Nowhere, uh, it only requires that your um, identity has the Guardian trait and it increases the ally limit by one, so it doesn't uh, look what uh, traits the allies have. So we have champions, uh, shield, spy, guardians, then we had uh, aerial mystic, guardian. Uh, so nowhere is a good, good ad, and when you play guardians you get to, to draw cards, which is really good, but that boosts your ally limit up and uh, you don't have to have all Avengers, for example. So I like this uh, more than uh, Avengers Tower, for example. Then Endurance, just in case, and Cosmo. And that is basically the deck. Nothing really special. Uh, I just drew this together quite fast, uh, maybe, maybe like 10-15 minutes of uh, deck building, but still. Uh, pretty interesting choices to be made with the Guardians, so I'm really looking forward to playing this deck. So uh, that's enough of the deck building part of this series. So uh, in my next video, I will be playing this deck against the Risky Business uh, scenario with the randomized modular sets. I would really want to hear your deck lists and how you maybe played this matchup. So if you end up playing with 
uh, good leadership against a risky business with those modular sets. Uh, throw me a deck list in the comments section. Let me know how the game went. I'll, I'm really interested in hearing out how, you, how your games went, so I can compare notes, so to speak. So uh, look forward to the playthrough episode coming soon. And thanks for watching, and until next time.